Starting right where we left off. Greetings. May I talk to people? Yay. Do you have any clue about those numbers under the drawing? 1419, 1420, 1421. Maybe something to do with the Hundred Years' War. Or, or wait, in 1419, Pope Martin V arrived in Florence, right? He, he left for Rome in 1420, and that was the same year Brunelleschi began building the Duomo. And in 1421... Um, in 1421... Yeah, I'll have to do some more research, I think. I was quiet there for a second. I was just making sure I have enough space to do this <laughs> next episode. I was just like, wait a minute, I should probably check. <laughs> what are we going to do about Abstergo? Wait it out. As soon as we find the apple, I get in contact with our other teams in Europe. But as far as Italy goes, we're on our own. It'd be nice to have some help from above. Our top assassins are busy gathering info about the Templar satellite launch. We've pinpointed several possible facilities in the U.S., China, and Russia, but there are no clear leads yet. You seem focused. I've been busy patching new systems into Baby here. She's only gonna get better. Is Desmond gonna be able to relive memories this time? Matter of fact, he will. Yay. Can always relive memories and whatnot. It's useful because uh, there is a thing where you can get 50% synchronization or 100% synchronization. To get 100% synchronization, you need to do optional objectives during the mission. I will try to do those optional objectives while I'm doing it, but there are no guarantees that I will succeed. I'll do my best. <laughs> so, what do you think of Monteregioni? This is not Monteregioni. Monteregioni existed in the Renaissance. Ask me how the town was in 1554 when it was seized by Florence, and I'll tell you. Huh. I figured you'd like it nowadays. Seems not to have changed much. Exactly. History is the study of change. Change is life. When things become static, it means they're dead. He's got a point. Alright. Back in the Animus I go. in the van, I've made some improvements to the Animus, and I've also patched in a new VR training program. Here you can show off all those flashy moves you picked up from your ancestors. Let me open one in the mission. Oh. Don't be shy. I did the thing. You can access more VR missions through the Animus desktop. As you complete training sessions, I'll add additional challenges. To stop your subconscious from rejecting Ezio's later memories, you're gonna have to live them in the order his genome recorded them. Highlight sequence two for me, Desmond. Good, now select it and you're gonna see the memories inside. I can't do anything. Once you've unlocked a memory, by accessing this menu, you can relive it as many times as you want. But what if there are memories I just want to forget? <laughs> Desmond, this is very important. If you need to take a break, log out of the Animus. You can leave the machine whenever you like. I'm all set to go. Don't worry. One last thing. As you raise your synchronization by executing events the way Ezio lived them, you might even discover some repressed memories. Uh-oh. Okay, let's get started. Select the first memory. 
Wonderful. Desmond, I've been looking at those gibberish five-digit codes from the end of Subject 16's files, and I seem to have discovered a remarkable coincidence. The codes correspond perfectly with coordinates inside the Animus. I've tagged the landmarks, pinpointed by the coordinates with eye icons in the database. Now, odds are you won't find anything there, but, well, who knows? Calmatevi. The pain will end soon. Where have you brought me? Nowhere, Messere. A man left you here. Did he say anything? Only this. You are to meet Messer Machiavelli in front of the Mausoleo di Augusto. Let me help you get dressed. Okay. The same man who brought me here gave me these clothes? Si, Messere. or what is left of it since the Borgia came to power. And the mausoleo? Unfortunately, you cannot see it from here. How about from the top of that church? Yes, but the stairs up are closed. That should not be a problem. Vi ringrazio di tutto quello che avete fatto per me, buona donna. Addio. Good as new. I can't run. I can't do anything. I just have to walk. <laughs> I need to find the doctor. I'm going, Ezio, I promise. <laughs> uh, Mr. Doctor Guy, could you meet me halfway? No? Okay. <laughs> Medicine. Hello, I'm injured. Someone your age cannot recover from a wound like this with medicine. Here is something to dull the pain. You will heal over time. Grazie. Four out of five doctors would suggest leeches, but they have not proven effective against such things. However, I can recommend several good colleagues around the city. Do you need anything else? <coughs> oh, good. Someone my age. Chile. Why would they carry on like that? Hey, look at that. Arrest. We will show him how things operate under the Borgia. Machiavelli can wait. Who put a rock in here? It's in my ass. Excuse me. 
Jeez. Forgot how far they have to follow them. I thought it was close by, but I guess not. Or it's not as close as I thought it was. They thought they stood a chance. <laughs> Hello, friend. You okay? She was beautiful. <laughs> she was. Until that porco defiled her. I wish he just killed her. I wish he just killed La Mia Mata. People who saw her grow up cheered when he spat on her. Smiles on their faces when her neck... I understand. How can you? My Livia was innocent. I have lost family to the rope. To treachery. Il Carnefice watches from his home on the hill above. He threatens to hang me if I cut her rope. When you are ready, take her down. I will deal with Il Carnefice. Yeah, I will. Rest in peace, bitch. <laughs> well, I appreciate that all the guards are waiting patiently. <laughs> no. No survivors. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and uh, the entirety of Rome is open, I think. I don't know if it is this early in the game, but it will be soon. Sir. Uh, 
have anything valuable? Uh, okay, my throwing knives are full. Fine. Hey, Desmond. I don't know if you're looking for something from 16, but last time scanning an eagle vision seemed to help. I was not looking for something like that. I don't care. I am just enjoying climbing and running around on rooftops. Uh-oh. Oh, get back up there, you bastard. <laughs> Whee! Ah. Didn't really need to climb up here for this, but oh well. Whee! Ezio, what a surprise to see you here. I thought you had sent for me. Never. News of the villa attack has spread across the city. We were certain that you were dead. Not yet. I am still very much alive. The Borgia must not discover that you escaped them. Follow me. Take care not to draw any undue attention. When do I ever? Yes, my conspicuous bright white outfit. You would be wise to purchase missing equipment. You will not live long in Roma without supplies. My brother's wife I have my blade. I have a selection. And the guards have their guns, courtesy of the Borgia. Fortunately, I can help you. Oh, thanks, pal. Grazie. While you're in my debt, perhaps you will listen to reason. As soon as I hear some, I will let you know. Well, damn, Ezio, my god. Why does everyone in this game have an attitude? <laughs> Same thing as last time, purchase armor, purchase the small knife, and you're good. Now you can survive the journey back to Firenze. Perhaps. But I'm not going to Firenze. Oh. There will be no peace until we rise up against the entire Borgia family and the Templars who serve them. I do not recall such brave talk at Monte Regione. How could I have known that they would find me so quickly? That they would kill Mario? Rodrigo surrounds himself with snakes and murders. Even his daughter Lucrezia has been sharpened into one of his most artful weapons. But she pales in comparison to the man behind the villa attack. He is ambitious, ruthless, and cruel beyond imagining. The laws of men mean nothing to him. He murdered his own brother to take power. He knows neither danger nor fatigue. Those who do not fall by his sword clamor to join his ranks. The powerful Orsini and Colonna families have been brought to kneel at his feet. The King of France stands at his side. Give me his name. Cesare. Head of the papal armies. What does he intend to do with his power? What drives the man? That I still do not know. But Ezio, Cesare has set his sights on all of Italia, and at this rate he will have it. Is that admiration I hear in your voice? He knows how to exercise his will. A rare virtue in the world today. Ow! <laughs> Cause I'm an asshole, he's an asshole. <laughs> Should we not travel by horse? Roma 
territory is quite large. As Cesare's conquests in Romagna continue to succeed, and the Borgia grow in power, they have taken desirable areas of the city for themselves. We cannot use the stables here. Oh, the will of the Borgia is law now? What are you implying, Ezio? Stabby, stabby. With me, Machiavelli. Do you have some kind of plan? I am improvising. Greetings! Aha! <laughs> Hiya! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's way too much fun. I improvised! <laughs> Ezio told me to improvise. <laughs> Up and up and up I go. When will I stop? Up here. To light it on fire. Wait. Oh my goodness. I don't go. Hold on. I have to go back to Machiavelli first. Out of the way, you. Just because you kill a few guards, does not mean the people will grant access to the stables. You are right. We need to send a signal. Wait here. Alright, now I can climb up to the top. Jeez. Way to be picky. Silly game. Ignite the tower. <laughs> it's on fire. It seems the stable is now available for purchase. After you. What a coincidence. <laughs> mm. I need to rob you, sir. I need to buy the stables. <laughs> Don't lose any health. Hey, look, the Pantheon. You excel at opening wounds, Ezio. But can you also close them? I intend to heal the sickness, not treat its symptoms. Stop sparring with me. Fine, let us talk openly then. Rodrigo Borgia's death would not have solved anything. I am inclined to disagree. Look at this city, the center of Borgia and Templar rule. Killing one man will not change things. We need to take away the source of their power. Are you suggesting we appeal to the people? Maybe. Relying on the people is like building on the center. You are wrong. Our belief in humanity rests at the heart <coughs> of the Assassin Brotherhood. Excuse you. <laughs> he must be from your inner circle. Go, get back what he has stolen. I will wait at the Campidoglio. I am meeting a contact there. Give me back my money! Get back here, you son of a bitch! Come back here! You are 
Why does it have to be so loud? Everything. I don't need it. I could always grab a viewpoint later. Great eggs. Liberate your money from our friend? I did. A small victory. They add up. And in time, with work, we'll have a few dozen more. And in time, Cesare's gaze will return to us, and we'll be broken again. Now, where is my contact, Vinicio? He should have already intercepted the letter. Follow me. Pardon me, sir. I want your horse. <laughs> what? It's a cool horse. Look at this. Look at these facades masquerading as gun. The Pope is very clever to keep this place in business. It fools your friend, the people, quite easily. When did you become so cynical? I merely described the reality of Rome today. But all may not be lost. The good news is that we have allies in the city. How much longer this will last, however, I cannot say. Coliseum. Not nearly as big as it is in real life, but that's just because of the game engine. It was Limitations. A steel official Vatican mayor. Perdonati, mi signore. You must be mistaken. Who are you working for, ladro? Me. I am working for no one. Then no one will care what we do to you. Stab! Stab! <clears throat> Grazie. Where is he? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Stop him! Find me at the tournament. I'm coming, boy. Come here. Aha! Encoded Borgia letter found. My goodness. You've received new emails. Huzzah! You can call your horse at any time and it teleports to you. <gasps> this is not my horse. Oh. It's fine. Whatever. I don't care anymore. I feel cheated. Pardon me.
Hey, where's that guy at? Oh. I failed. I failed already. Oh well, it's fine. <laughs> like I said, I'll try, but I cannot guarantee anything. <laughs> This is kind of your introduction to Romulus layers. Must have come from in here. the memory in eight minutes just so you know while the cutscenes are playing your timer does not keep going it actually pauses it Alrighty then, then just go on over here. Wonderful. I broke it. Oops, I broke it. Whee! You saw nothing. Yep. 
I already know the route, so I should be okay. As long as I don't screw up royally, I should be fine. Watch out. Interesting. And up we go. Yeah, don't fall in there, that'd be hot. Hey ladies, please, Ezio's hot enough. Haha, <laughs> got him. I'm sorry. I'll stop now. No, I wanna can't back that up. And up I go. Whee! Huzzah! It's like I know what I'm doing. Don't let your little toesies catch on fire there, Ezio. Huzzah! Ow. Someone's mad. That seems a little rude. Seems like a little bit of a rude thing to do with someone, but okay. Wonderful. Wonderful news, Ezio. Oh, backwards. There we go. Ow! There we go. Just gotta find a way up now. The game will tell me if I failed the eight minute timer thing. I don't, I don't know if I'm even close, honestly. I'm probably getting there, but I don't think I'm that close yet. Hey, look at that. That could help if I fall.
There we go. Uh oh. Perfect. A route up if I fall. Voila. How much time do I have? I have a minute and four seconds. I can get these. <laughs> Go ahead. Many of these are there. There we go. Now I'm out of here. Yay. Followers of Romulus, this band of false pagans has been terrorizing the city for months and driving the people into the arms of the church. Quite convenient. Exactly. I believe the Borgia are supporting them, but proof remains scarce. That is why the letter is so important. Here it is. I hope you can break a cipher. Cazzo. Another encryption. This one was supposed to be legible. They are transmitting them using a code sheet. Without it, we have nothing. Sometimes logic is not the only way to win a war. Antiamo, you said we had allies in this city. Bring me to them. Follow me. Okie dokie. Yep, that's the followers of Romulus. I'm gonna try that mission again so that way I can hopefully get 100% sync on it. <laughs> the one where I'm fighting all the Romulus dudes. Because I think I can do better. I can do better than that. Come on, me. We recently began traveling through the tunnels to avoid the guards, but many of the entrances in the city are broken. By using them, we can get to our destination rapidly without encountering resistance. Yeah, this is kind of a f way of fast traveling throughout Rome, but you have to find each of these areas. And I have to unlock them too. <sighs> Greetings. Ah, Ser Ezio. A pleasure. Fabio Orsini at your service. I've heard a great deal about you from my cousin, Bartolomeo Dalviano. A fine warrior. Fabio has lent us in a new storeroom on Isola Tiberina. I know you were used to better accommodations in Toscana. It is perfect. Bene. Then I am off to begin preparations for Romagna. Today, Cesare commands my men, but soon, I hope we will be free. Now I propose we begin planning our assault on the Borgia. Oh, you think we are ready for such an attack? Si. Do you know, for instance, where the Borgia troops took Caterina Sforza? What? Are you also unaware that the Borgia have captured the Apple of Eden? How could we have lost the apple? So, you do not know what goes on with our enemies. Do we at least have an underground here to work with? Hardly. 
Our mercenaries are ensnared in a losing battle with Cesare's French allies. We have girls working for us in a brothel, frequented by cardinals and other important Romans. But the madam there is lazy, and would rather attend parties than further our cause. What about the city's thieves? Do they have a guild? Si, but they refuse to talk to us. I don't know why. What are you going to do? Make some friends. Yep. Yeah, that's the end of the sequ second sequence. Ezio's just gonna spin around in circles until it's done. <laughs> oh no! Go ahead and grab the uh, might as well grab this, uh, uh, whatever you call it, viewpoint while I'm up here. Why is it so quiet? There you go. Uh, go around buy shops I'll do most of this off camera so that way you don't have to be bored by watching this over and over and over again like I've done before I'll do the viewpoints and all the boring stuff off camera so that way you don't have to see it and I'll make sure I do all the story stuff on camera um so yeah, they said that you can go back to any DNA sequence you want and redo it so that way you could get 100% sync in it in case you're like me and got hit several times. Go ahead and try this again. <laughs> I'm just going to try a mission again, see if I can get 100% on it. You can always skip the cinematics too if you want. It's done. <laughs> there we go. That's how it's done. <laughs> Let's just pretend that was the first time I did it. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'll start sequence three in the next video, so I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.